and let's solve some problems. Let's solve one problem and let me uh, revise, let me little brush, brush you up with Kolbe's electrolysis, the reaction that you might have forgotten, the reaction that we studied. As the first reaction of this chapter of hydrocarbon, the reaction for method of preparation of alkene. If you have forgotten, let me quickly brush you up with this reaction. This is Kolbe's electrolysis substrate. When you take this and pass electricity through this, the first step of the reaction is oxidation. This oxygen loses electron, forms a free radical and then this carbon gains one electron and that's why I have shown it with single headed arrow and one electron goes to R. When that happens, this there's one electron on oxygen and one electron is gained by carbon. They form a double bond. That means they form CO2 gas. CO2 gas comes out and alkyl free radical is formed. And these two alkyl free radical dimerize to give us RR. Fine. That means when we have a acid, what the carbon attached to the CO2 part gets a free radical and two of them dimerizes. I also taught you if two of the acids are within the same molecule, suppose they are within the same molecule, then this will go away and this will also go away. So there are four carbon in the chain and the carbons attached to the acid part directly will have unpaired electron on them. And then because there are two free radicals within the same chain, they there will be an intramolecular reaction and they are they amongst among themselves will react and when they form a bond among themselves there will be a closure of the ring so a four member ring will be formed like this this is what we studied in Colby's electrolysis now suppose i have a similar uh, substrate suppose i have this substrate Now I'm going to carry out Kolbe's electrolysis. That means I'm going to pass electricity through this, right? Uh, now I'm not going to just repeat the whole steps as we studied. If you have any doubt, and if, even if you, if you are not clear by now, even after making me revise you this reaction, you can go back and study Kolbe's electrolysis. Now I'm assuming you have an idea of Kolbe's electrolysis, so I'm not showing it step by step. But nevertheless, what happens in the first step of Kolbe's electrolysis, this oxygen is going to lose electron, there will be oxidation and form, a, a, have an unpaired electron done by both the groups. Now this CO2 gas is going to come out and there will be a dot on this carbon and there will be a dot on this carbon. And guess what would happen next? There are two unpaired electrons adjacent to each other. They'll quickly combine. And so they will pair up and they will form a bond. So there will be a triple bond formed between these two carbons. So this will be the product. I'm not showing hydrogen. This is actually acetylene. So if we have this kind of substrate, the product would be, there is a hydrogen there, the product would be acetylene, right? So this is very trivial and this, this, this we have already studied, so there is nothing new in this. So the product is acetylene, okay? Now let, let me give you a conversion that will, con that will cover most of the concept we have studied in the preparation of alkyne and also some other reaction that we studied in alkenes and alkenes. Okay, suppose I have propane and I added bromine to this in presence of light. I got A. When I added alcoholic OH- to this, I got B. From B, uh, I can, I can, suppose I add HBr in presence of peroxide, I get C. 
from b on b if i add uh, br2 and in, in ccl4 i get d on d if i am giving na nh2 two equivalent i am getting e on e suppose i add sodium in the first step and c in the second step then i would get f and uh, on f if i give hydrogen with palladium catalyst poison with barium sulfate i get g and if i add sodium in liquid ammonia i get h this is the conversion and you must do it this will instill confidence on you and this will test what you have been studying up till now so uh, this is all the reactions are from the chapter hydrocarbon only so you solve it you solve it and then listen to the discussion i'm going to give you the answer anyway you going to attempt it or not that's my job so i'm going to perform my job and it's up to you whether you're doing your job so i'm going to uh, start the discussion of this conversion and before listening to the discussion be honest with you and solve this on your own and only then listen to the answers of this conversion problem okay then let's start propane this is photo halogenation as you can see there's light here there's photo and you have halogen here so this is photo halogenation Pro propane is going to give you and generally when i taught you photo halogenation i taught you you will do mono halogenation unless specified so there's no specification so we'll do mono halogenation so a is going to be 2 bromo propane this is the product of photo bromination as we know bromine is selective it will be on 2 degree almost 100% of it so uh, this is a now alcoholic oh minus is a base aqueous oh minus is a nucleophile how many times i have told you maybe a million alcoholic oh minus being a base will carry out elimination this is a halo alkane halo once elimination is carried out on this a hydrogen will come out from any of the carbon both are symmetrical similar and this br will come out so there will be a pi bond formed and b would be nothing but propene this is b on b you are adding hbr peroxide remember hbr peroxide adds h and br on alkene via anti markovnikov addition if you remember it then you will identify that c is 1 bromo propane i have taught you anti markovnikov addition of hbr using peroxide if you don't remember please go back and study this reaction so that is c simple easy d d is nothing these addition of br2 and on on this alkene this is this is b and d would be a addition product of br2 and this alkene and one br on this carbon and one br on this carbon that's how br2 gets added so d is vicinal di halo propane or d is 1 2 di bromo propane so it's a vicinal uh, uh, halo alkene and this is what from where we started this is this is the substrate we used to pr prepare alkyne and you can see what's going to happen next on d i have added sodamide two equivalent so that two equivalent of soda amide is going to carry out two elimination one leaving out with this bromine if if we start from this terminal carbon and another will expel out this bromine so they are going to form two pi bonds so this is going to give us a alkyne as we have seen the last reaction uh so e would be propyne easy on e you are doing you are adding sodium 
Now, what would happen? And then you're adding C. And look, C is what? C is uh, one bromopropane. That means C is uh, uh, one bromopropane. And C is such a alkyl halide that the halogen attached is on one degree carbon. Okay. So there could be a SN2 on this a substrate. Okay. And when you add sodium, when you add sodium to this, I have told you just a, a few moments back that when you add sodium, sodium reacts with substrates, compounds having active hydrogen, releasing of hydrogen gas and forming sodium salt of corresponding conjugate base. So when to in order to get F, when you, when we add sodium to this, what happens? What happens is there will be a alkylide ion formed like this, clubbed with sodium ion, and hydrogen is going to be evolved, right? When you add C, hydrogen is going to come out. What is going to remain in the system is this. When you are going to add C, C is this. C is one bromopropane. Then there would be a SN2. This will act as a nucleophile. This will throw away bromine and get attached to this propyl part of this substrate. So what you are going to get as F would be F would be this would be F F would be two uh, heptine uh, two hexine F would be two hexine fine this will be F. So easy. Now from F you're getting H and you're getting G. And this is the reaction that we studied in the method of preparation of alkene. And this is reduction of alkyne. And when you add H2, H2 gets added from the same side. So this is going to give you the cis alkene. So G would be 2 hexene, but this is going to be G will be 2 cis 2 hexene G would be cis 2 hexene and this is sodium in liquid ammonia carries out trans reduction of alkyne that means alkyne gives a trans alkene so uh, H will be trans 2 hexene now how this happens we have to go back and study them H would be trans 2 hexene easy conversion isn't it fine so uh, this completes our method of preparation of alkyne so we move on to reactions of alkyne